Hello everybody and welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. I have another additional video tutorial that I'm going to stick in this week because as we know Halloween is this weekend and I had this in my video file and I wanted to go ahead and get it out there before it's too late. So what I did for this tutorial is I'm showing you how I made these Halloween cakesicles. So if that sounds as interesting stick around we'll get right to it after the intro. So for some of these cakesicles, I wanted to have some spiders. So I have this little spider mold. It's a silicone mold that I got on Amazon. And I'm just putting a little bit of cornstarch inside of it and tapping out the excess so that the fondant does not stick. And I'm just using a little tool, a little fondant tool that I have to kind of push and manipulate that fondant into the mold. This is a very intricate mold. It's got some little tiny parts in it that are kind of hard to get in there unless you manipulate it with a tool. So I highly suggest getting one of these for these smaller molds. Now when you're cutting off that ex excess there, make sure that you're not cutting your mold. It could be pretty easy, easy to uh, accidentally slice into the silicone. That's why I like to use that little palette knife because it's not actually really necessarily sharp enough to cut into the silicone itself. You could use a regular sharp knife, but just be cautious. And stick it in your freezer for about 10 minutes until it firms out up and you can see how easy, how much easier this is to pop out. This would be hard to pop out if it wasn't cold from the freezer and when you get them all done just use i just used some luster dust some gold luster dust and i just used a fluffy brush and just brushed it on just kind of pounce on the on the fondant to get the um the gold to stick to it you could add a little shortening onto the spiders if you prefer to get it to be a little bit more shiny but either way works So this is my cakesicle mold. It is an extra large mold. I found that um, when I was researching which size I wanted that some of them are a lot smaller than you think. So make sure that when you are re looking to buy them, if you're looking to buy them, I got it on Amazon, that you go for the extra large if you're wanting a more substantial mold. Now I'm just using candy melts. That's all I'm using is some melted candy melts. And I cut a small hole in the bag because I wanted this to be spider webs spider webs or a kind of mummy look also and yes you make a mess when you're doing this but um, you can scrape that right off it cleans off real quick stick them in the freezer to firm up and then use your black or whatever color you want to use candy melts to coat the the rest of the mold being careful not to move them around too much because you don't want the white parts to loosen up from the silicone mold now I'm just using a spoon to manipulate the the chocolate where I wanted it. You could use a brush if you prefer. I just decided to use a spoon this time. Now you want to make sure that you add enough chocolate without adding too much. If you add too much, it can be kind of hard to bite into. But if you don't add enough, they could crack. So I would recommend two thinner coats. And that's what I did. I just didn't necessarily show it because, you know, it would make a very long video if I showed absolutely every step in this. And then this is just cake pop dough. It's just um, yellow cake that I had crumbled up and added a little buttercream to to make it a, a cake dough. And just pat it in there and get it smooth. You don't want it to stick up higher than the mold dough. Make sure that there's a little gap where you're, you have enough room for your chocolate on the backside. And I'm just scraping off the um, chocolate that's sticking up above the rim. Now you got to remember to stick your sticks in. At one point, I with the orange, I'll show you in a bit here. I actually I almost forgot, but I did remember. You, I'm just puncturing the chocolate on the bottom and sticking the sticks in. In hindsight, I wish I would have added a little chocolate to the sticks themselves, but there's a really small um, gap to stick the um, the the stick in. To the bottom and I wasn't sure that it was going to stay on. I might have just accidentally scraped it all off anyways. But you can go back in and reinforce them if you need to. Now just put some more of that melted chocolate on the back 
and I just kind of tap it to get rid of air bubbles and remove the excess. Stick them back in your freezer for another about uh, 10 to 20 minutes, 20 minutes to be on the safe side until they are completely cooled off or, and, and solidified. Now just gently coax them out of the mold. I like to kind of pull the mold away from the sides of the, the cake pops before I try to pull them out, just to kind of loosen it up and push it from the stick out. That way you're less chance of pulling the stick out of the bottom. And then I'm just doing the same here. I'm just removing the excess before I pull it out. You can remove the excess afterwards if you prefer. I did both ways. I just kind of prefer doing it this way so you don't have to mess with it afterwards. And isn't that neat how the white is more of a, I guess, it's just cool. <laughs> I just like the spider web effect there. And then I did the same thing with the orange and the green. I'm just making sure that I get good coverage by moving it around and manipulating it into, into um, places if it didn't want to um, go where I wanted it with the spoon. If you m tilt it around before it hardens, you can kind of d redistribute it a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the cake pop dough. And here's where I should have been putting the sticks in. But I got so wrapped up in the candy coating that I forgot. <laughs> That's why the orange ones weren't as smooth as I would like them to be. Because I did end up having to go back and put the sticks in. And I didn't have the time. I didn't take the... I didn't do it in the proper order, basically. With the green ones, I did. And I cleaned up those edges. The orange ones turned out fine. I just had to do a little bit more work after they were cooled. I did go back with the orange ones and clean a little bit more after I got them out of the mold. Just with my, my little tool there, just kind of kind of scratch it off. Now I'm adding some candy eyeballs. I just got those at the store as well. Um, the, I didn't make those. You could make those if you wanted to with fondant and an edible pen or um, black fondant in the center. You could even use black food coloring with some Everclear and a paintbrush to paint that on. But, you know, you can buy them, so why not? And I'm just attaching them with some more melted chocolate. Then for a change of design, I wanted to do this, um, what would you call that? I guess it's, it's a drizzle. I drizzled it with the chocolate, cut a small hole in the bag, and just move your hand back and forth. Start and end off of the cakesicle, though. That way you get straighter lines. And then I just used the sprinkle mix that I had purchased with the Halloween colors in it. And I wouldn't do more than two at a time because your chocolate's gonna, gonna dry and cool really fast since your cakesicles are cold. So you want them to stick. So go ahead and do two at a time would be my suggestion. Unless they're already room temperature, then you still need to move fairly quickly, but maybe you could do four at a time. Now, I went back and added the larger ones after I had put the smaller ones on. I just, now's the time before they completely cool to just kind of fill in any spaces that need some more. And I added some of the eyeballs as well to tie them in to the whole theme. Okay. 
And there you go, guys. My Halloween themed cakesicles. Now these are not small. You could actually share these. They're big enough to share. Um, I hope you like what you saw. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and share, and comment, and hit the notification bell. I am noticing that 72% of my viewers are not from subscribers. Get to it, guys. So I hope you liked it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.